back again here at the off grid tiny house and um this is how i solar powered my tiny house here i can say um just an update again and this is what is going on i added some few things here to the system which i want you guys to see as i'm always trying to improve and um fabricate or modify i put some kind of indications here just to show people who had never been uh with this system if they have to come and uh trying to utilize this thing instead of probably yanking this thing lifting it up or whatever they don't even know um how everything is set up here so i put some stickers here tell you to slide it's a sliding door so you can slide this way close and opening the other way so if it doesn't go that way that means you're going the wrong way you have to go the opposite way so other sign right there then i end up putting a handle here you guys can see and uh get a handle here you can able to hold and just slide because the arrows already told you or tell you um what to do by sliding this way opposite directions so drill a hole and put it right there put a little knot underneath it i think you can see it so uh, i did some kind of this labeling um they were here but i'm gonna do something different maybe with a reflector reflective labeling i i hope i can get it somewhere if someone knows um where they can sell them or shoot me a link then i can able to get a reflecting labeling which i can use with a dyno 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 d y n o something like that printer the handheld one and uh tell me then i can able to order them and use the reflective like a neon something you can able to see at night glowing give you all the indications i end up adding up another sticker here and uh change this to usb the one that was there is different but i did some kind of little bit scratch here and i can't even to do any touch up anymore i know so you can it has uh two usb 3.0s here and with a pd right in the center here so if you um plug touch this guy illuminates right now you can see how um everything is working lit up so instead of putting a switch back here a gang switch or a turtle switch which can be like this guy here i was gonna uh put there there's a potential having this guy someone here makes this one old deal looks ugly i can put it underneath here but it's below the threshold below the batteries i don't want to poke the batteries so um if i try to go sideways it's not gonna look good so I decided to forget about this because someone can bump into this and turn this switch on maybe by transporting this unit so I decided just to get another one I took from the other build and put it here just a touch thing you know touch sense touch it then it's on and off that's what it is see it's off so that's another addition right there so I don't have to worry about putting a switch so if we have to take a look into the inside okay i just cut this for the first time never seen this before it was turning to nine o'clock and it was flashing boom 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 nine o'clock so this is the first um um meters i have or this uh built that has a clock on it you can so i program the clock so i can always tell when i take this um lithium palmier box somewhere i have a time if i don't have a cell phone and maybe you're in the middle of somewhere at midnight you can able to see so these are kind of all the little modification i have done so let's check what is going on here with the batteries this morning here you can see we bring in about 5.2 or 5.3 and 80 watt coming in to the meter here um we're seeing that we'll be running all night so we're just replenishing there is uh, approximately nine like i said earlier 
so let's look into the power room here which is the the charge controller and uh look at this guys i had another video for you guys i was going to show you we're bringing over 106 from that um with the uh with the midnight solar kit this is the kit so um okay just like those are clouds passing and this panel sitting right off my deck i've seen i've shown you on the previous video uh, if you haven't seen that well i'll make up another one but guys this is the bifacial panel which is doing an awesome job we are changing our solstice and uh you can see how the sun started hitting that panel where i had it and it works there perfectly for summertime so guys this is the build and you can see my ac um out outlet is there and the system is resting right now what i was gonna do here i'm gonna try and, um install one of these guys goat g-o-x-t ghost g-o-x-t so i don't know how it's pronounced but this is what it is so guys uh, it's a twist and a wrap and a band so these are things you can buy at a store <clears throat> excuse me and um you can see how to get your wires all coordinated when you're charging cables you have in an office or desk or whatever and you can able to set them this way so your wires can be hanging or your wires can be dropping on the floor step on them or maybe in your office like you have your your your, your chair has some wheels probably gonna crush this thing so this is what it is um but i'm not um advertising for them but if you up to goxt happen to see this uh video so i'm doing it um for my um portable generator here for the um upgrade solar tiny home how i powered it and um these are all the, the stuff right here so you can get them at your local store like uh, Menards, um, Target, and um, 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 Home Depot, Lowe's. You can get all this cool stuff right there. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these, take these guys out. So I want to get something. What do you guys think? I was going to use a gray. I don't want to use the black because you're not going to see it. So I want something that you can able to see that, oh, why this stuff is here. So that tells you because the black, the black blends with the paint here is not going to even try to send a message why that, what, what is this? So I want someone to know what is that? See, is this a cord clips twist wrap band? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to utilize these guys here and um get it and get this guy plugged all the way into these devices the usb ports and uh and i have the one is going to be for mac or apple charging and one is going to be for um android or whatever you call it you want to charge here so i have these cables instead of dangling all the way like this you have them all like this. I can able to put that guy right here and just set it in a way that I can control the wires or set them the right way. If you want to go sideways, you can go sideways. If you want to go this way, you're going to go this way. So it depends what you want to do. So or after you finish charging, you can have this guy here and uh, like this. Like it's gonna look like this for um the apple product and this is gonna be so this is how it's gonna look like when i'm done i'm gonna install it right maybe from here i can able to fold all these wires and put them into uh tie clips or something and the end's gonna be attaching to here one of these guys on the bottom right here so i want to keep them all lined up you can hang your wires stay tuned check this out 
um, after removing it from the package, I still have one. I wanna, I don't wanna tear up everything, so I can save this black one. So this, it has adhesive at the back. See that? Looks like a Velcro, but it's uh, just adhesive. You can just remove and um, and paste it where you want it to be. I don't know what you guys think with this color. I don't know. Looking at it in real life, it looks like it's going to throw off the color completely. But at least we can able to have our wires all coordinated. If we have this guy all the way up somewhere, um, tied up or lift up or elevated, and we can able to get this guy really a nice look. Oh, I forgot to mention that I even have handles to carry this guy around. And I have some ports right here for jumpers. If I want to start a uh, jumper car. Or I want to add another pack. I can build extra um, of the same batteries. And I can able to tie them right from here. Instead of going inside here to the bosses. I can just hook it up. Hook them up right here. So that extends the packs. So if I want to do any... Uh, maybe another pack with a BM uh, batteries with a battery management system. BMS can have a different charging uh, par parameter, just like this lithium uh, polymer. All of them has um, um, uh, um, they both have uh, BMS built in them. So this 18650 um, uh, Panasonic and this lithium from uh, Ring. I bought them from Battery Hookup, both both of them, and um, right there, great guys. So um, you can able to parallel them. I can able to parallel another pack here, which is with a different chemistry that has a built-in BMS on that for this. So I made this provision for future uh, upgrades or whatever. I want to add another the same batteries if I happen to get some of those. So let's check the power again. We are bringing now, look at that. 114 watts and 7 amps coming in from the charge controller, the Midnight Kid. So, this is what it is. Nice charge controller made by Midnight. So, so we're going to go back here to the build and fix this guy. This is how it looks like. And it even have a, 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 the, the, the sign right there. Uh, G O X T. It's right there. So um, I can go vertical if I want to. Then I can control the wires the way I want them because um, I can just put the end of the charge, these heads right here, to go to hold the wires hanging all the way down straight. So I don't know what you guys think.